Hello gamers, I am Centaurian Pig, and welcome along to a video game that was made in 2003 called Starscape. Don't need to see that. It's a little action title, 2D, and oh, what else was going to say about it? It's a fun little action arcade game, really. It involves a sort of like open world environment that you can move around in, even though it's split up into say, zones, and you need to basically mine for resources so that you can upgrade your ship and your mother ship, get better to progress into more difficult zones in order to overcome a hostile entity of some kind and to complete the game. So this the reason I'm doing this is game of the week. I've decided I'll like for a week I will play a video game, whether that game be something that I have played before or not. Doesn't matter. It's just gonna highlight a video game and at the end of it maybe do a review to say whether or not I liked it, what was good about it, what was not so good about it. Is it worth a buy? Just show you off options. So our resolution 800 by 600. There's no widescreen support or anything like that that I'm aware of. I've not bothered looking at mods. Maybe there are stuff there. We've got full screen texture quality, screen mode, which will be 16 bit and 32 bit, texture quality low and high. And order audio mode, low, medium, high, or disabled which will probably just be how many sound channels there are. We've also got controls here, nice simple stuff. Game does support joysticks, to what degree? Uh, I did use joysticks when I first played this several years ago and I found it a bit twitchy uh, with the turning. So you might need to use something else, some profilers to sort the sensitivity out on that because there is no sensitivity in here. So we're going to go with a new game. I'm going to skip all the cutscenes. I'm not interested in that. I just want to show you the gameplay. Okay. Ooh, we've also got mode type, we've got hard, saves lost on custom ship depth, easy, unlimited saves. Uh, we'll go with limited research and we'll skip the intro. All right, okay, ah, so that's what skip intro does. We missed the little tutorial thing, so we're straight in there. I'll just show you the parts we've got. We've got our grid map, so uh, from memory, we've got individual zones. Here is our ship. We'll just select it. We can navigate around. As we move around, everything else will move in time with us. So in a minute, there are no hostile entities around. Eventually there will be, and as we move, they will move, and they may even attack us. Green bars indicate the amount of minerals or resources in each sector. So fully green, lots of resources. Spinning green things are wormholes. Wormholes allow us to jump across to another wormhole. I think we can jump all the way over there in a single bound. And that's about it for now. So we're going to stick in the same area because we can mine that. And we can maintain our Aegis. Have we got anything in here? No. So we can have a main cannon, which will be here, which will have a 360 firing arc, and a bunch of turrets as well. And our docking bay, we don't have a ship. We've got a runabout, which is our default ship. Can we build another ship? We can, but there's nothing. Oh. We can add engine ones. There we go. Can add our engine component. Generators. So we fire our weapons. Blasters. We'll stick them on the front.
Well, there we, go. Ooh, we can have missiles as well, so we'll, we'll stick missile rockets there. Can we add anything else? Gravity beams. Big old gravity beam, and that's it. That's all we can add so far. Okay, so that'll be a basic little that ship. I'm not sure if it's any better than a runabout. Probably not. I think runabout is the ship you have when you lose your main ship. We'll have a look at research and development. So we could research, so like blaster twos or station cannons or station drill. So what should we go for? Let's go for blaster two. Do we have any crew? Yeah, we've got five crew, so we'll start that research. And then we could build, but we've used all the crew up there. Oh, got batteries and rockets. Oh, we can also build a prowler. How is it? What have we got? That's our ship. What have we got? Well, that's our prowler. We've already got a prowler. That's fine. We've got one, one prowler hole. And then we've got our stores, which is just our inventory. Here's our resources. We've got green minerals, yellow minerals, and purple minerals. And I believe they go from the most frequently found to the least frequently found. Most common, least common, I believe. Go back to grid map. And oh, we've got our map key. You see? This is what it's telling us. Oh, we've got a boss node, friendly node, danger node. And our wormholes are called transfer nodes. So we'll just go and click on where we currently are. And start collecting some resources. So mouse and keyboard are fair, but when we're flying, it's going to be keyboards. So our ship. I can either left or right click to determine which hangar bay we're going to come out of, left or right. So if I left click, we're going to come out the left hand side, which is useful when you're getting attacked. You need to know where the enemies are. We've got basic weapons. We can do charge shots by holding down our fire key or individual blasty shots. Just run over here, and I think also while we're inside here, the game time is also running again. So eventually, you might get some hostile encounters who are nearby. But yeah, we just start blasting minerals. There we go, common purple minerals. Hold down our E key so that we can. Tractor in. All these lovely minerals. We can also get asteroids as they're moving, get them to stop. So, alright, it's already stopped, has it? Oh, probably re full up. Oh, good. Yellow one. So to dock, we'll press R, allows to dock, and we'll just move in and we'll get dragged in with a tractor beam. So if we're looking bottom right corner, we've got our mini map. Just come out the right hand side, so that's where we're gonna go. And we've got an energy reading, which as we move, or you know, turbo uses energy. So our actions. Moving around, firing, consumes energy. If we don't have enough energy, then we'll be able to fire less and other such wonderful problems. Especially when we get to the point where we get shields. And we're able to maintain our shield integrity. Alright, go down here. 
So next to the energy bar, we've also got a little yellow triangle. Not a triangle, is it? Diamond shape. That's just minerals, so that's our capacity. As we can see, we're already pretty much almost full. There we go. So that these asteroids stop moving. And it's got a nice soundtrack to it as well. Also, if I hold the R key, it'll tell the ages to come to us. Oh, double click, is it? Uh, there we go, something like that. You can see there's. that should be slowly moving towards us. some damage from when we got hit by that mineral and we've got our first hostile encounter right next to my mothership yeah and this is also a mine layer so we'll try and shoot that down Okay, fire off our missiles. Right, so we've killed it and we get to find some useful stuff in there. Oh, which if we weren't so full. Oh, we're gonna lose her. Okay. Alright, I think we can cope. I think we can kill it. We'll just have to repair. Can we repair station? There we go. Use all our common minerals to do some repairs. Let's get out of there and just blow up because we want. Okay, let's kill this last guy. Come on, die. Right. Oh, now is that orange thing is what we want to get. That's our container. There we go. The annoying thing is if they drift outside the map, you lose them for good. Well, used to be the case. I do not know anymore. Maybe. Maybe they changed that. So there's our pink herd mechanic out of the crew. So that's odd. I'm detecting compatible equipment. Yes. So we'll be able to do some research. Watch out for this mine. Let's tell the ship to come to me. It's under attack again. I'll try and collect some minerals. Oh. Or equipment. Or stuff to research. It'll probably be equipment that. These guys are coming after my ship. Get out of it. We're not off to a really good start, are we? <laughs> so we've got engines, station turret, and a station scoop. Let's go equip them. So we'll maintain the ages. Now, where we put the turrets depends which side it goes on. So put that on A and then I suppose the scoop on C on opposite sides. So we're gonna check our research. So our research got completed. While we were off battling, perhaps we should now invest in a station cannon so our ship can protect itself. We'll start that. Can we build something useful? Cargo bay. Should we build two cargo bays? Let's 
stop that. Okay, well, I've got to move about on a grid map. So we've got enemies that I believe they are going to follow us. Now, the interesting thing is this little flashy icon. That indicates that there is a mining ship. And if we take that down, we can get some goodies. Now, the other thing is that there is a good enemy presence there. So we might have to be careful about that. I believe that is friendly territory. Let's move over here. Yeah, bad guys are following us. Those are the wormholes we mentioned. And we can move all the way over there if we wanted to. So let's do that, shall we? We're going to travel all the way over there, leave the bad guys who were trying to follow us. Enemy presence. So we get pulled out and we have to fight the bad guys. You can see our little turrets we just added on there. Oh, we'll come out the left side, that's where we are. We might even see our station attack these hostiles, but the range of them is not that great. We don't want to get too close anyway. Let's have these charging shots and take down multiple hostiles, especially the light ones. We've got a lot of enemies in this area. is once we took care of these then I don't have to worry too much about the presence surrounding our mother surrounding the mother ship oh lots of resources come here please oh can't believe we just lost them Got a bit of a risk reward. This seems to be an awful lot of risk. <laughs> Let's see how many hostiles are coming in. Might have to retreat. in the area yeah had to be didn't it and before you start causing any more problems <laughs> oh come on try and pick up what we can get. Oh, we're full up. I'm going to try and get all those resources since we've dealt with the majority of hostiles. There we go. Let's have a lot of turrets protectors. Oh, and he's also collecting in the minerals for us, so let's tell him to get up here. Good. Our missiles are infinite, but we just have to go back. Stop with the mothership to rearm them or reload. So we've got infinite reload as long as we dock. Oh, this is getting hurry again. Oh, 
Helps if you don't ram them, Dan. Oh, we've got another. Yes. Lots more equipment. Yeah, see, they, they fall off screen. Which is unfortunate. Apart from the research upgrades, they stick around, thankfully. So you can't lose out on research. You can just re lose out on equipment. Mm -hmm. 